This video is sponsored by Synology. Hey everyone, welcome back again. It's been so long since I have uploaded any video here. I am working on some amazing projects out there. This month, we are going to upload some really cool tech videos on this channel, which will be useful if you are a designer. We will be back on track from next month. So this week, we are going to take a look at something you really need. But what is it actually? Let's find out. Remember, when we used to store music files into the cassettes? Yes, I am old enough to remember that. Things changed, the way we used to store your data has also changed. Nowadays, you can store all of your data, using thumb drives, and high capacity external hard drives. But what about sharing data to someone else? Of course, you can hand over the storage drives, and wait for them to finish. It works. But what about if you have more than two people to share the data with? What if you have a small business, and you want to share the data, with all the users at once? Here comes the NAS, or Network Attached Storage Device. Sounds technical? Let me explain in a very easy way. In a small office or home, people are connected to the same network or router. So you can access the internet on multiple devices at once. The NAS, or Network Attached Storage Device works the same. Just connect it to your router, and you can access the stored files of it in any computer, or supported device. No more plugging and unplugging the thumb drives. In some simple words, this is your own personal cloud. But there are many cloud storage options out there, why don't I use them? The answer is very simple. First, the size. As you may know, when you render some animation in After Effects, the output file could be huge in size. I always keep everything I made. These are the project files of my old tutorials. As you can see, each folder size starts from around 2 GB. And this is the lowest size, most of the time, the size could reach up to 15 GB. Uploading them on paid cloud storage drives can take weeks. And if I want to access them, I have to download them again. It can be very expensive if you have more data. Second, privacy. Do you trust a cloud service? Well, I don't. You are uploading your personal files on their service, while you cannot share those files with your girlfriend, right? I am using this network attached storage device from Synology, which is the best known for their quality NAS. The model I am using is Synology DS920+. Plus. It made my work a lot easier. I can access my files on my laptop, computer, TV, or even my phone. I cannot keep my computer running 24-7, but I can keep the DS920 Plus running, and store my data on it. That way, I can access my files anytime I want. Let's take a look at the specification of the DS920 Plus. This is a 4-bay storage device, which means you can add up to 4 hard drives in it. You can also add up to 9 drives, with using the expansion unit. It comes with Intel Celeron J4125 CPU, with a speed up to 2.7 GHz. Also it comes with 4 GB RAM, that can be upgraded to 8 GB. As well as, it has two M.2 drive slots at the bottom, which can be used for the cache. Let's take a look at the design. Right here, we have these four drive bays, which can be removed by pulling from this side. You can add any standard 3.5 inch internal hard drives, as well as the 2.5 inch SSD. Right now, I am using two 12 terabytes NAS hard drives. NAS drives are different from normal hard drives, they are designed to run 24-7. Right next to it, we have a power button, a 3.0 USB port, and indicator lights. Pretty simple. At the bottom, it features two built-in M.2 SSD slots, to leverage Synology SSD cache technology, for improved I.O. and application performance.
At the back of this disc station, we have two system fans, which keeps the system cool. Right here, we have two, one gigabit RJ45, or LAN port, to achieve the gigabit data transfer speed. Right here, we have a SATA port, so that we can connect our hard drives. Down here, we have this power port. Also, it features one more 3.0 USB port right here. Let's quickly add two hard drives into the drive tray. By the way, you have to purchase hard drives separately, because Synology doesn't make them. They are only making the disk station. Anyway, after adding hard drives into the disk station, connect it with the router, using RJ45 cable. These cables are provided with the disk station. Now plug the power cable, and then we are good to go. Click on this power button, and then the disk station will boot right away. It takes around 30 seconds to boot. After that, you can hear the beep sound when it is ready to use. After booting it up, go to your browser, and type find.synology.com. It will redirect you to the URL to the disk station setup page. You have to create an account for using it. I have already done this, so I am logging in. This is a web-based operating system. And the interface is pretty simple. Right here we have the system status, and connected user. As you can see, I am using is from more than 30 days. Right at the desktop, we have the package center, which allows you to install the application to your disk station. They can help you to get more from the disk station. You can create multiple users, for their specific usage. For example, I have a user for my YouTube channel. This user can access only some specific folders, which I can control anytime. Just set your username and password, and click next. Choose which folders this user can access. For example, I want this user to access only time machine, video, and work folder. I don't want him to access the entertainment or movies folder. Click next, and assign the quota for this user. I am keeping it unlimited. Click next, and then choose which application this user can access. Now I don't want him to give permission to any of the applications. So I am not choosing any one. Click next, and then apply. Your user is ready to go. But what if you are away from the network, and you want to access your files from some other location, for example, a new city. Then you can access your files using Quick Connect ID. It allows you to use the disk station files from anywhere in the world using the internet. Just a heads up, don't travel in this corona scenario without any solid reason. Now, I teamed up with the Synology, and they offered me a giveaway to my viewers. Here you have a chance to win DS220+. Plus. All you need to do, go to this link, and participate in this survey. You can find the link in the description. So this is it for today. Thank you for watching this video, I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace.